Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing us another AI video. I think it's gonna be pretty interesting, okay? I went out and said to myself, I wanna choose three different topics of a video and then generate thumbnails for it using like a chat GPT for ideation and then mid journey to actually create the image. And the video tiles we got today's video, okay, are I filled my pool with plastic balls, a food challenge of ordering everything off of McDonald's menu, and then last but not least will be like a Fortnite fashion show. And honestly, you might enjoy the results or you might not. Well, honestly, you might enjoy it regardless, but who knows? Anyway, enjoy the video and uh, let's just, let's, does it work? I don't know, we'll find out. Well, technically I do know because I watched the video. That's not the point, just enjoy. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the first video idea being that I filled my pool with plastic balls, okay? That's a pretty easy classic, can it do this though? However, to make this completely fair, I'm gonna use ChatGPT and ask it to give me five ideas for YouTube thumbnails to actually use for the prompt for Mid Journey. So let's see what we get. So what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna say, give me five different ideas for a YouTube thumbnail titled, I filled my pool with plastic, plastic balls. Okay, boom. Here we go. Realistically, I'm gonna say these last two for me are really, really good actually. So uh, a thumbnail features a before and after comparison and also one that says someone's actually jumping into the pool. Those are gonna be my prompts. Let's see what we can actually get. So we're in mid journey, okay? And for the record, this is mid journey. I know you're gonna ask, okay? So prompt, okay. So a thumbnail that features a before and after comparison, one with a photo of the empty pool and another filled with plastic balls, okay? And then I know there's also some like key words I can put in here. Hold on, where is it? Boom, okay. AK hyper-realistic aspect ratio of three by two and then version four. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it out and see what we get pressing enter. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The first one on this top left side is like a little bit kind of awkward. I get the stacing and all that stuff. The bottom right one's not obvious that it's a pool. This one right here is the obvious favorite. I'm gonna actually choose to do some varieties of this one or versions of this one. So version two, let's get four more of that version and see what we get from there. Here's the actual problem though. I don't feel like it looks like thumbnail-y enough. Like it doesn't have the pops of like green and blue backgrounds, things like that. So I'm gonna fix this prompt to hopefully make it seem that it's actually gonna bring a, a better like background image for us. Okay, so I'll pop that with this and realistically, this is definitely not, this is probably worse than the actual prompt that I did before. I, we're gonna chalk this one off as a fail. So let's go also try the other little quick prompt that we got from ChatGPT too. Okay, so the next prompt that ChatGPT gave us for this thumbnail was a thumbnail that features a person jumping into a pool with with plastic balls, with a caption that says the ultimate ball pit, AK hyper-realistic aspect ratio, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what it gives us. Yo, wait, is that feet? Hey, yo. <laughs> This one over here doesn't feel like a pool. That also doesn't feel like a pool either. I just want a quick, quick little, little variation. I might just try to have it recreate it one more time. I think what it struggled with was actual, like a pool. But what if I put like a backyard pool or in a backyard, like a pool in the backyard? That might actually help it a lot too. So I got this. This is not that bad. This one over here, whatever's happened over here, don't know. But this bottom left one, what if we gave this like a quick little variation and a little upscale and then we try to put it in Dolly to expand the image to see if we can actually get it at 16, 16 by 9. We want to generate, not generate variations, but we want to, I think, choose add generated frames. We're going to do this. Maybe like I move it closer to the right and just put like this on this right hand side as a house. I have no idea this is going to be what I think is going to be. Oh, that was kind of sick. Now this left hand side is not a house, but like it's a it's a fence. It, uh, what if I did? Oh, oh, we need to do one more thing. Okay, so we gotta go over here to the eraser and we wanna put underground pool filled with plastic balls from top to bottom. So it gave us this underground pool. I see no underground pool. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna chalk it. However, though, if I were to just like remove the whole pool situation, put my own pool in, and then this person, does it actually give me a jump start? Yes. Is it complete though? No, but also this problem is pretty difficult. Let's move on to the next one though. After that, I don't know how much faith I have in this right now. However, we have a new video title. We're gonna call it, I ate everything at McDonald's, like a challenge, like a food challenge, right? I ate everything at McDonald's food challenge. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, let's start off kind of easy this time. I'm gonna say a photo with a person holding a tray filled with uh, McDonald's food items. I'm gonna be like, outside blue sky grass whatever right like that kind of feeling so i'm gonna change it from just a person holding a tray filled with mcdonald's food items to like a person holding 10 mcdonald's food items in front of a mcdonald's that makes sense 
press enter and let's see what we get I'm, I'm not gonna lie this is way more creative than i was thinking like completely bottom right though is not bad however the the, the cola the mcdonald's like the soda or whatever that's not a mcdonald's soda even this one's not that bad either the top right I, the top left i'm actually curious i'm gonna save this image use dolly and hopefully we can try to make this seem a little bit better okay so the first thing i'm thinking immediately that needs to change is the background let's go like this and then i'm gonna put like mcdonald's a uh, storefront in the distance there's no way this can't do that right honestly first impressions this was kind of cool but kind of like too artsy maybe but this was not that bad though like if i were to see that and if we extend the, the distance of this would it make more oh what if i just like like quickly edit and just put mcdonald's store just like period realistically this second one's probably the only usable option now i'm pretty sure extending the actual image is pretty easy you can probably confirm that it can do that pretty easily is this good enough no but i want to try again this time though i want to use just like my own idea so this is what i would imagine like i'm actually gonna kind of think like a phase rug right now what he would probably do person standing in front of a table filled with 10 mcdonald's food items surprise with hands on face no surprise face period i think that's fine surprise face okay i think it needs to be more closer up and also these these people's faces are not surprised they kind of look soulless let's try again really quick with like a like trying to fix it to make it say like close up though okay so this is what it gave us and realistically well there's like there's like a lot of problems here first this guy's face whatever it, it doesn't matter what the face of the person is because realistically what you would probably replace it this is also not mcdonald's it's like a rough depiction of what mcdonald's is like x carl's jr x like sitco gas station logo it's actually like not bad though still not now like hear me out for a second okay so hear me out right which image is probably the best probably like this one over here or like this guy probably this one okay so probably this one w wait for it okay now right we got dolly now i want to save this image i'm going to throw the whole thing into photoshop kind of zoom out just a little bit okay hold up hold on ready okay boom clip this myself boom right put this right over here in between it okay better i'll take this guy remove it this guy over here too whatever the heck this is then boom and let me just put like the words help if you had nothing okay if you didn't have the courage to walk into a mcdonald's okay and then ask yourself do i want to take this photo in front of it and then or if does you just say you don't even have mcdonald's just yet or you do you were just i don't know why you wouldn't have it if you did it however you know if you had nothing going for yourself this does this work okay so are you gonna actually blink an eye if you're scrolling can you even see it does it even stand out to you in the sense of like as an ai generated thing no you're gonna see mcdonald's all these little frames and you're gonna go with look like that's not bad i don't know about you but if i'm calling the last one an l i'm calling the mcdonald's one a w that it, 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 you choose your own words here but let's move on to the last one here okay so for this last one i'm gonna use a fortnite fashion show i just did something gaming related i think this is the most like easiest but also creative way that we can probably go about this so fortnite being gaming fashion show being like realistically anything that ai comes with maybe if it's good enough of a setup in this case i want to give me five ideas for you to title titled fortnite fashion show boom okay let's just say i'm not gonna use, these are not like specific enough for me but what i'm seeing in my head from the ideas that this uh gave me let's say this a group shot of three fortnite characters dressed in colorful fashionable outfits striking poses on a runway let's see if this is gonna actually make it like in the setting of fortnite but also how is it actually put together three fortnite-esque characters i'm excited about this one i think it's gonna come out pretty sick i hope so at least now hold up okay if i just do something like this hold on I insert montage and boom right like let's 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 be honest with each other okay first off the clothes are pretty freaking fire it looks like fortnite for sure you got the fortnite text in there it's a little more clickbaity and to be honest the fi the, fi the fits are fire right so they're gonna wonder like oh can i get this item or something like that and if i do say so myself that's that that works 
I got a no, a yes, and a yes. Do I just try one more just to see if we can get like even, like a 50 50 down the right down the middle? Okay, how about this? Instead, I went to Mr. Beast, right? I looked at like the most, I guess, clearest uh, of view of a thumbnail that I feel like we can recreate. What if we try to make it re AI recreate this thumbnail? And let's just let's just see if we can do it. Now, to save you the trouble, it just it it just didn't work. That's not to say that AI is still not good in this video for two, and the bad one is for one. If we don't count that one, technically AI wins that it could work. Let me be the first person to say that I will definitely say that there's no chance that we're getting replaced anytime soon for thumbnails and like Mid Journey or Dolly. It doesn't really feel as if we're, we're in that mode or in that opportunity to like really have that happen yet however that's not to say that mid journey itself and like using chat gpt for uh chat gpt for like ideas the ideation of ai can really help like bring out some like creative juices but you know could you could you possibly use like the setting of a, a mid journey generated image you know if you don't really have one yes is it the best quality no but does it work yes so what's the consensus it's, it's just not good yet however I don't know, maybe the future, maybe I gotta revisit the video one day, but I don't know. Remember those prompts? I have no idea, but with that being said, since our HQ out, we're gonna get a key smile and stay positive and stay freaking hard, guys. Let me watch love. Peace. I guarantee you didn't say, I'm so tired. It's like 4 a.m. I said later, much love, peace, and all that good stuff. You guys get the point. I love you. Enjoy. Peace. Holy crap.